We're at the National Quartet Convention in Louisville, Kentucky, and it's a great thrill to be talking to someone from one of our favorite groups. You've seen them on the show many times. This is Rodney Griffin of Greater Vision. Rodney, welcome to Gospel Music Today. Thanks. Glad to be here. Tell me a little bit about the, the background of the group, first of all. Greater Vision is celebrating uh, almost 16 years on the road now. Gerald Wolfe started the group. He and Mark Trammell, who was with the Cathedral Quartet, mm -hmm. they sang together years ago with the cathedrals. They formed the group 16 years ago with Chris Allman, a tenor. Uh, Mark left two years into the group, uh, three years, I guess. So I've been here, soon be 13 years. And it was me, Mark, and Chris, I'm sorry, me, Gerald, and Chris for a couple years, and then Jason Waldrop, our Indian tenor boy, mm -hmm. came when he was 17 years old, right out of high school, and he's been here almost 11 years. So we've not had many changes, and we're just enjoying being together. Now, how did Jason wind up in the group at such a young age? Yeah, Jason went to the Steve Hurst School of Music there in Nashville, Tennessee one summer, and as he was uh, getting to know Steve and the folks who were helping him with singing back then. Uh, he was looking for, came to convention 11 years ago looking for a group to sing with. And just like we're standing here in our booth this year, we were standing here 11 years ago in our booth. And a Roger Talley, the Talley Trio, walked Jason into our booth and said, I'd like to introduce you to a young man who had some voice lessons at the Steve Hurst School of Music. And Debbie Talley, my wife, taught him voice lessons. Says he has great potential. So if you want to interview him, uh, to see if he would work singing with you guys, you're welcome to do that. And it was a great introduction, and uh, that was 11 years ago. Now, you've written some of our all-time favorite Southern Gospel songs. Uh, how, did you, how did you become involved in gospel music and, and songwriting? I grew up uh, in a Christian home after my dad became a Christian uh, when I was a young boy. And we sang in church. My family sang in church. I always had a love for this kind of music. My uh, folks used to take me to hear the Kingsmen in cathedrals every year when they would come through, and the Happy Goodmans. And uh, then as I went on to high school, I would, when I could drive, I would go see. Uh, we had the Hensons would come to our town, the Kings Boys, the Kingsmen, uh, the cathedrals. Uh, everyone that came near in, in, in Kentucky, Central Kentucky, I would go hear them. I, mean, I just had a love for this music. When my uh, friends in high school were listening to rock and roll or country, I was listening to the Cathedral Quartet, and uh, it's a love for this music that I still have today. Now, how, how, did you, how did you start writing the songs that you write? When I graduated college in 1990, 1988, Berea College in Berea, Kentucky, I... Uh, didn't have an opportunity to sing with a group and frankly I didn't think I was good enough uh, but I've learned that what you like in talent you can make up for in desire so and I think that's true in any work of the Lord if our hearts are open and available to him he will open the doors and he'll make up the difference in what we need in our ability if we're just available so I uh, went on to school graduated college with a biology degree and went on to work in landscape design. Well, I wasn't really satisfied because I had this desire to write and sing songs. Uh, I moved out to Eastern Virginia and the same place my dad had worked years ago, Newport News Shipbuilding in Newport News, Virginia. We built the aircraft carriers and Navy, submarines for the Navy. I was sitting at my desk and just the strong desire to sing, but I had no outlet. And I started writing songs. And you know, that was during that time, as I began to write songs, I wrote probably 15 or 20 songs during that time. And they weren't that good, because it was my first songs. But wow, what, a, what, what it sparked in my heart. And then as I began to, to get an opportunity to just get out and sing, and sing these songs I began to write, that was a 17 years ago, and I'm still enjoying writing more than, now than ever. We enjoy those songs. What's, uh, what's coming up new for Greater Vision? We just released a brand new DVD, and it's a celebration at First Baptist Atlanta. A lot of folks see us on In Touch with Dr. Stanley every week at home, and uh, we enjoy singing at First Baptist Atlanta. It's a wonderful church. And uh, we did a video there. We did a concert, and we also had the Specs, the Mike Speck Trio, who does a lot of 
he does a lot of uh, choir music in the church, and uh, we uh, they sang a concert, we sang a concert, and then we did about 30 minutes together. And it turned out to be just one of the most fantastic nights uh, in a brand new uh, remodeled sanctuary there at First Baptist Atlanta. Turned out fantastic, and that's our latest our latest uh, project, and we're really excited about this DVD. Excellent. Rodney, thank you very much for being on Gospel Music today. It's been a pleasure to talk to you. My pleasure. Thank you. Now back to more great Southern Gospel Music on Gospel Music Today.